And welcome back to Area DMG. I am your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to be unboxing, well, there's a company called Image Epoch. Well, there was a company called Image Epoch. They made a couple really good games for the DS, for the PSP, for the Wii U, the Wii, sorry, for the Wii, and 3DS, and then they died. And um, their last game came out. But let's talk about some of the games they put out before. They put out um, Luminous Arc, Luminous Arc 2, and Sands of Destruction. And a couple other games that I don't have. So, their last game though, which barely got released in Japan, and kind of barely got released over here, is Stella Glow. Stella Glow is a strategy RPG similar to... Uh, Luminous Arc with some interesting little things to it, like this idea of uh, tuning and other stuff. There's a demo of it up there on the uh, eShop. It's totally worth checking out. It's, uh, let's see, more than 50 battle maps, over a dozen unlockable endings. It's a long game, too, from what I've read in the reviews. Anywho, it's rated T for teen, blood, drug references, fantasy violence, language, partial nudity, suggestive themes, use of alcohol. And it's in this nice little cellophane wrap. Here's the side. Here's the top. A couple characters. Not too, too familiar with what the plot is. I mean, I played the demo, and I got a pretty good idea of, like, how, where it starts, but I have no idea where it's going to go, which is why we got this. So let's go ahead and open this up and find out what's in this launch edition of Stella Glow. First, first you have this fantastic little box and I'm gonna use this. Um, it's my uh, IRS issued shank. Do, 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 do. Okay. Got that. Let's get this uh, plastic wrap off. Yeah, put that over there. Let's see what's in this. Opening the top. Okay, first things first, we have a uh, a keychain of um. Oh, what is this thing's name again? It's a uh, oh boo boo. It's a a little pig with a star on its rump. It's a keychain, rather large keychain actually. And then we have a um. Oh, there's a uh, fabric poster in here. We're not gonna open that. Wait, yeah, we should open that. Let's just carefully open that. We can probably put it back in this little container thing after we, after we open it up and see what it looks like. I remember seeing a, uh, a thing where the where um, some of the people at Atlas said that you can kind of iron this down to get rid of any types of uh, ooh, any kinds of uh, the little creases. Hmm. Let's bring this up a little bit. It's kind of a large um, fabric poster. Kind of shiny. And I think that, if I remember from the demo correctly, I think that's the villain? Uh, yes. One of the witches. Anywho, let's move that to the side. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, okay, we have the soundtrack. It's got five tracks. And um, one thing that's kind of interesting about this is that they've got a bunch of different J-pop stars to Seeing vocal vocalized songs in here. They didn't actually translate the songs except for the uh, title theme, which they had the Japanese artist record a new song for. There's songs in here from um, I think his name is Yasunari Mitsuda, the guy who did um, a lot of the music for Xeno Gears, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, several other games. And uh, let's go ahead and open this up real quick. Let's find the uh, where is the top? Oh, wait, okay, it looks like it opens up here on the side think. Let's open this up. There we go. We'll find out what the disc looks like real quick. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yep. No, maybe next time I'll just use scissors. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That was the top part. Here's the front of that, and here's the CD for that. Can't wait to see how that sounds. Love the love the fact that it comes with a nice soundtrack. And last but not least, we have the game. 
Okay, pretty great cover art. In fact, um, after launch edition sold out, this is what will be available in stores, possibly. Most stuff that's put out by Atlas or Xseed, you can kind of guess that most of that stuff will have a bit of a limited run. Let's open up that. And let's see, we have, of course, we have the um, cartridge. Sorry, the game card. Yeah, warning. And sadly, kind of boring um, art here. There's no... This is kind of a missed opportunity. Every time I open up one of these boxes and I don't see artwork on this other side, it makes me a little sad. I mean, look at the design. They could totally do something with that. You know? But for some bizarre reason, companies don't seem to. Anywho, here's what's com what comes with the launch edition version of Stella Glow. You get this um, keychain of Boo Boo, it's a pig, <laughs> a felt poster, the actual game, a sound, a ten, a, I'm sorry, a five track soundtrack, and a uh, decorative box to put it in. Let's move this a little bit. There we go. But yeah, that's what comes with Stella Glow from Atlas. The game's a thing, and if you're if you're a fan of Final Fantasy Tactics or Luminous Arc, you should definitely check it out. There's a demo on the eShop. So um, that's everything that comes with Stella Glow for the launch edition. Hey, if you picked up this game or you tried the demo and you liked it or didn't like it, let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, hit subscribe, hit like, tell your friends, tell your foes. And until the next video comes out, I'm your host, Will Wesley, the Mile High Mouth. And you are now caught up.